This video we're going to talk about connecting Power BI to a RDS in AWS which will be a Postgres database. First off, we're going to make sure that Postgres has been created in the RDS, um, uh, that we have credentials to connect to AWS and the RDS instance specifically, that we have an endpoint inside of AWS to connect, and that we have proper access to our set up RDS. So we'll go to the console. We want to validate that we have an instance running Postgres here. We can also see um, if we have a valid endpoint. We do. And we'll want to make note too of any ports and make sure that it is publicly accessible as we can see here. So um, Power BI does have uh, some extra steps that you have to use to connect with a Postgres driver. So I'm going to use the ODBC Postgres driver now. And as you can see here, I'm just setting up an ODBC. I've got the server, here is the endpoint, the database, the username and password. We can test that, that it's validated, that it works. Click OK. And we'll save that off. Then we can come to Power BI. We're going to get data, more, choose other, go to our ODBC sources. We're going to choose our Postgres ODBC driver. Click OK. As you can see here, come in to our schema, Power BI, and we can see our customer table. Once I load this data, we'll see the available fields. Then I can start using Power BI as normal. As you can see there. So, um, from a Power BI perspective, just for ease of use, I've used the uh, Postgres um, ODBC driver that's available. I installed it locally on my machine, then configured it to point to the RDS uh, in AWS for Postgres. Um, lots of times if you're having issues connecting to the RDS, it will fall into one of these four or five areas. So first off, maybe the database is not public. As you can see, I validated that on the console, that you have um, a security group is restricting access, so potentially you're not allowing traffic through that security group um, that's associated with that RDS. You potentially have a network ACL issue. Um, maybe your credentials aren't valid, so your username and password for the database is not uh, working. And lastly, you may have um, some sort of firewall issue that is blocking the ports or the IP or something um, from your location up to AWS. 